forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Top weather story tonight, record-breaking warmth possible tomorrow. A lot of the area is going to be in the low 80s. Record, at least for West Lafayette, is 80 set in 1963. And then a wave of weakening showers and a few thunderstorms tomorrow night. And then into... Uh, at least part of Friday for some places that may linger in the afternoon. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes and then a much cooler weekend. Screaming jet winds here. You can see the clouds kind of being just sheared off here as we have our storm system here and the strong winds upstairs in the atmosphere blowing along at 100 to 120 miles an hour. And where you have a split in, in two jets, this is a subtropical one. It carries moisture. This one carries the cold air. We have a split in the two. Right in between is where you get all the rising air motion. You get a lot of violent storms. So that will be over Iowa, northern Illinois, Missouri this evening. So that will be the zone ahead of a cold front developing that will have severe weather. Hail, damaging winds, perhaps an isolated tornado. That will be Iowa, Missouri, again Wisconsin for this evening and tonight. And then tomorrow, more of Illinois. But this is all going to weaken as it moves eastward. So we're going to be in pretty good shape. There are the storms in Iowa late tonight, early tomorrow morning. They weaken. New ones may try to form in Illinois tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. But once they move eastward, they'll be in a weakening phase. So just some scattered showers, a few thunderstorms through tomorrow night into Friday morning. Now, once we get into Friday afternoon, a lot of these will try to move away, but you'll notice this is 5 p.m. And from Crawfordsville to perhaps Colfax and also uh, Flora, Peru, Kokomo, it may still be kind of showery. So the rain may hang on a little bit in the southeastern part of the viewing area on Friday. Tonight, dry upper 50s to low 60s, very warm for this time of year, 60 at Romney and Linden. Tomorrow, we're talking low 80s over most of the area. 81 Burlington, Frankfort, 82 Lafayette, 80 at Rochester and Fulton. Cooler Friday, only in the low to mid 50s area wide. 55 Lafayette, 56 Thorntown. In fact, we may even fall a few more degrees during the afternoon. Notice this gray and pink here in Alaska and in the Yukon. That's a chunk of cold air and it's going to get kind of interesting next week. This is a hurricane. This is Sandy. We'll have a strong low developing over New England. These two may combine and produce one nasty nor'easter off the northeast coast with heavy wet snow in New England and very strong winds. What does this mean for us? Well, it means it's just going to keep it cool pretty much all the next week. There's the big nor'easter, the remnants of Sandy and a low. It's going to keep a northwest flow in here, keep the warm air west, and pretty much keeping us in the 40s, perhaps, over most of next week. Seven-day forecast, there you have it, the 82 tomorrow, 55, that is it on Friday, 53 Saturday, not a bad, but kind of cool over the weekend, and Tuesday, only 46 degrees, 47 Wednesday, and again, with the big northeast storm, with perhaps some unseasonable heavy wet snow and a lot of wind, we may stay in the 40s over most of next week. Yeah, well, boy, we sure have something to enjoy this week, don't oh, we? Soak up tomorrow. That yeah. 82 is going to be great. All right, very good. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Have a great evening. Special night for Purdue Volleyball. Right yeah, here. and anyone going to the match, make sure you wear pink. We'll explain why they've reached.